Is it a dumb move to move from a low call area to a high call area because we miss our friends? Hi all. I posted earlier today about how much house we can afford with 140k combined income. Now, the situation becomes more complicated. I have to decide where we want to buy this house. I work 100 remote and can live anywhere. My fiancé is an RN and can pretty much find a job anywhere. We are a little conflicted on where to buy a house and are not sure how to approach this. We met in college Chicago and then moved back to my hometown Cleveland to try and save up for a house pay off some student loans. By the time we're ready to buy, I'm aiming to have 80k saved up and ready to go for a down payment. It seems like in this area Cleveland, you can get something decent for 300,000 350k whereas in the Chicagoland suburbs you're going to be more like 350,000 400k. I'm happy where we are at. But we miss our friends from school. Most of the people we know here have moved away. My worry is that I'm not sure if a 350,400 k house is too much for us to take on right now. Financially, would it be a bad move to go back to a higher call area just because we're lonely? We've been living at my childhood home since 2019 and would really love to have a place of our own. C. Seems crazy to say but that difference in home price is negligible over the long term. I suspect your wife's income potential is larger in the Chicagoland area. 2. There are some great Chicago suburbs. Life is too short to be isolated from friends. Go for it. Quality of life is important. Doesn't matter if you are in a better financial situation if your overall quality of life is lower. I think I'd look at it in slightly broader terms than your current friends that you are missing. Though and more in terms of whether there is something about that place that you connect with more. And are likely going to foster more friendships into the future. You have no guarantee on the longevity of your current friendships. As others have alluded to. Specific friendships change over time. I think this is more of a quality of life question than a personal finance question. If you can afford it, live where you actually want to live. In 20 years will you be happier with a little bit more money? Or be happier that you lived near people you enjoyed spending time with? If you can make it work with the latter, I'd do that. Go live life. That's why we're here. Enjoy your people and make the most of your time. That's your most valuable asset. Money is a tool. It's not the end goal. Personal finance is about using that tool as effectively as possible in your personal situation. Living a boring and empty life just to save up as much money as possible and dying with millions in. The bank doesn't make much sense. It's not dumb at all to move somewhere that will allow you to live a fulfilling life. Even if that means your bank account will have fewer digits when you die. 3x income is generally affordable. That said, if people are starting to have kids, you may see them less and less. Not sure what age you are though. I think a dangerous trend in this sub is people willingness to ignore one's mental need. Social life and friends is super important. A secured finance without mental health is not worth it. I will say follow your heart on this one. You can afford it. Go be by your friends. I had a lot of friends move away from Chicago back to Cleveland when they started having kids. But if you don't plan on having them I'd 100 want to be near my friends. Chicagoland suburbs you're going to be more like 350,400k. I'd call this medium cost of living. HCOL is closer to a million for a house. Chicago really isn't that HCOL. And even by your description is only slightly more than Cleveland. A few things to add you could potentially live on one car in Chicago. While in Cleveland you likely need two. That's a big difference in cost also. I would imagine salaries are higher in Chicago.
so consider that for future planning. But yeah, move to Chicago. Rent for a while so you don't feel too committed. You don't have to make a long-term decision right now. Chicago is not high cost of living. You make way more than enough to afford those houses. As a nurse myself, I would recommend your wife assuming she has experience in a specific area ride the travel nurse. Desperate need for nursing as long as she can if you move to the higher call area take a temporary travel seasonal position. Assuming that she can get on your insurance. She'll be able to make bank for a while still as hospitals are too stupid to pay their own staff. Appropriately so they need to hire travelers at $125 hour. It's neither inherently smart nor dumb. Your budget is your budget. No one says you have to live in a McMansion or your childhood home. If you're happy with a small condo exactly where you want to be and it's in your budget, then go for it. I moved back to an area for friends and discovered that in the time I was gone, everyone had moved on not literally, but with their lives. I thought because they were so happy to see me when I came to visit, that they'd be happy to see me when I lived there. Turns out that when I was available all the time, it was no longer a novelty and no one cared. I met up a few times with friends but even in the four years I was gone people had changed. You can never go back. Real friends are hard to find. If you trust that they are rooted and won't move when they change jobs in 3-4 years. And you can afford it. It's 100 worth it. Loneliness is an insidious and all too prevalent malady. If you can afford it. It's worth the expense to be surrounded with your own people. Even though you can work remote anywhere, don't underestimate how much more opportunity and pay raises exist when you are in a HCOL area. Financially it may seem risky to move to a more expensive city, but your pay will increase over time. As long as you budget properly you will be fine. More importantly, you should make sure you're actually happy. No point in having a little more material possessions if you're not enjoying it. Quality of life is important and being happy with your community and close to people you love is. Especially so. Personal finance is about making smart choices so you can have the things you want. Friendships change a lot in 20s, 30s. Families and children take over bars and friend parties. I wouldn't move to be near friends. Why not just travel and vacation together? Social media and texting can really supplement friendships. Don't overlook neighbors as good friends. We hang out with our neighbors multiple times a year. Money is only as good as what you can spend it on. And living where you want to live is one of the best uses of it. I'd rank it shortly below food and healthcare. I wouldn't move based on missing friends op. Because friends can change over time. They might have kids. Or found people who they have more of a connection to. I would move because you want to move and there's a lot of things that you miss or want to do. Also it's always best to be open to new friendships as you never know where it could take you. It's a fine plan just be sure to have realistic expectations of how much you'll actually see the friends. Jobs, city life, additional costs of socializing, and kids can all play merry hell with the best intentions of a robust social life. Even in the same town, the physical psychological traffic split between neighborhoods can be as much socially as if they were different cities. A $50,000 difference in house price doesn't strike me as difference between LCOL and HCOL. Chicago land suburbs getting a nice house for 350400 Even Milwaukee suburbs something nice is around 500 k Money primarily is meant to secure shelter. Survival needs and then secondly to promote happiness. If happiness for you is being closer to your friends and you can still maintain shelter. Food. Medical retirement savings then it's fine.